I think it's pretty safe to say that when we look at the Skywalker saga, without a doubt, one of the fan favorite characters has got to be Anakin Skywalker, portrayed by Hayden Christensen in the prequel trilogy era. If this is Mike Zero, make sure to subscribe if you are new to the channel for future Star Wars content. Now, one thing about Episode 9 is that we do know that this movie went through a lot of changes and adjustments. In fact, Kathleen Kennedy and even the editor, Mary Ann Brandon, talked about this, that the production was very rushed and that a lot of scenes were deleted and changed and cancelled, whatever have you, in order to really make a different tone for Episode 9 for the Star Wars community and for the general audience that goes ahead and sees these movies. Now, when we look at Star Wars as a whole, obviously we've seen a lot of changes with many of the films by Disney and Lucasfilm. A great example is Solo, A Star Wars Story, where 80% of the film was reshot. The Force Awakens, a lot of the actual film itself was changed because of different creative choices and different, you know, creatives coming on board for that particular movie. And it's not just that, we also saw a lot of changes in Rogue One, a Star Wars story as well with the reshoots. So, this is a common trend in Star Wars with Disney and Lucasfilm, is that a lot of changes are always made to these movies. Now, when we look at The Rise of Skywalker, this is yet again another prime example. In fact, in case you guys did not know, originally the movie was 4 hours and 20 something minutes, kind of like The Last Jedi's, where it was 3 and a half hours, as Ryan Johnson stated, oh, you know, not too long ago, about two years ago, give or take. Now, with that being said, what's rather intriguing is, of course, a lot of Star Wars fans have been wondering about what could have been before the reshoots and the rewrites of this movie, with The Rise of Skywalker now out in theaters and that it just crossed $1 billion at the box office. Both Disney and Lucasfilm are currently developing their new Star Wars universe. However, many fans around the world have been wondering of what could have been with Episode 9 before these reshoots and the rewrites of this movie. Now, during the months of August, September, and October is when both Disney and Lucasfilm made many changes and adjustments, primarily to the second and third acts of the film, in order to make the film cater to a general audience more so. Along with this change, many scenes were deleted or cancelled in the process, one of which had to do with Kylo Ren and the character of Anakin Skywalker, where one of the scenes that were deleted were said to serve as a parallel to Anakin's nightmares in the prequel trilogy that Kylo Ren would have in his quarters. And not just that, on board of his new Star Destroyer in the film. One of the scenes that were partially shot involved Kylo Ren having a nightmare of his grandfather Anakin Skywalker slash Darth Vader, wielding a red lightsaber blade where Anakin's design had an older look, as if he was middle-aged with a red light lightsaber that was ignited that would eventually clash with Kylo's crossguard. This nightmare was said to be initiated since Kylo was holding a piece of Darth Vader's lightsaber in his hand, after obtaining it from Vader's castle since Darkseid worshippers found Vader's broken lightsaber on Endor and brought it to Vader's fortress that Kylo later traveled to Mustafar, to which was also cut from the movie as well. The scene of Kylo's nightmare was said to be very brief, showing an alternate version of Anakin slash Vader in his older years. Now, the thing that's so exciting about this is that this kind of mirrors of what Colin Trevorrow tried to do with his version of Episode 9, where Darth Vader, like how we all know and love him in the originals, clashes sabers with Kylo Ren in a nightmare and or a vision dream sequence. However, this was JJ's version of showing us an alternate version of Anakin, wielding a red lightsaber blade going up against Kylo Ren, his own grandson, in an actual nightmare. Now, obviously they wanted to make Kylo Ren more like Anakin Skywalker originally, before the reshoots, where they wanted to have him have nightmares, like how Anakin Skywalker had nightmares in the prequels, such as Revenge of the Sith for a great example there. To me, I think that this would have been a greater way in order to show us the link between both Kylo and Anakin, and how they really are one in the same to a certain extent. So, everything related to what they tried to do, everything ranging from these visions of Anakin slash Vader, to Darth Vader's broken lightsaber not making the cut, as well as Mustafar. Originally, there was going to be a Mustafar sequence showing us Darth Vader's castle. I don't know if you guys knew this, but the very beginning, the opening scene of Episode 9, in the final version of the movie that was actually out in theaters, that's actually Mustafar, but there was supposed to be an extra scene, a second part if you will, where Kylo Ren travels to Mustafar, slaughters these warriors that are protecting the castle, goes in there and finds Vader's actual broken lightsaber that he takes and then later on has a nightmare of Anakin Skywalker in his own vision and or dream sequence. 
So, you can really see that J.J. wanted to make this movie very dark and very much different in tone in comparison to what we got in the final version of the movie. Honestly, I think that the darker stuff is more enjoyable. It's one of the main reasons as to why I love the scenes of Exegol in The Rise of Skywalker. The lightning, the sound of it, the chanting of the Sith loyalists in the stadium surrounding Palpatine, Palpatine's throne. I mean, it's great content. I love it. So Darth Vader's fortress on Mustafar and Kylo Ren actually going there on a different version of Mustafar where the trees is trying to grow out of the ground, I think that would have honestly been a more interesting tale, honestly, for Kylo Ren to actually go on. So with that being said, guys, I would really love to hear what each and every one of you have to say about this below in the comments. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, do make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support, and I'll catch you guys next time.